Okay, so big things happening as you can hear. Danny's in there at the moment vacuuming, getting the floors ready for a coat of our mighty fine natural stain here. Got to give it three goes over and um, just today, giving it a few hours break in between. Um, and yeah, then we'll have the room very, very close to being finished. Woo! Alrighty, so coat number one of natural stain is on. Give it a few hours, let it dry. Um, slap another layer on, give it a few hours, slap another layer on, and uh, we're laughing. It's already come up so much darker, which I gotta say, looks pretty sharp, but um, a bit of that color will change as things dry up. Um, a decent application of stain. Um, luckily, there's more stain levels to come, just in case there's any bits that have been missed. Um, hopefully there's no bits that aren't too heavy. It was a bit of a slap shod job. As you could see, we didn't have a proper tray, so we were just winging it on a wing and a prayer with the, um, with the tub. But, see if it works. And voila, how nice. How exciting to have a uh, room stain. And um, pretty much good to go. In about a week's time, we'll load all the uh, furniture back in and do the final reveal. Hopefully by then I can paint my French doors, which will go in here. Um, I might try and scrape off the paint from those windows in the meantime too, obviously once this is all sorted. Um, yeah, maybe it won't be the final reveal, but it'll be a very close product because we're still waiting on curtains and a few other things. But the staining process was super duper straightforward, just went around and um, stained it. <laughs> so. Um, yeah, not much to say. Hopefully um, everything turns out all right. The last time I stained, um, despite having stained countless times prior, the last time I stained, uh, they left these like really big white patches, which I presume was when I was a bit too heavy handed. So I've done, we did a regular sort of coat the first time and then I did a thinner coat the second time and then I did a really thin coat the last time. Um, still getting everywhere, but being pretty considerate with um, how much I was putting down. Anyway, um, that's really exciting. Hopefully Peeps doesn't decide to go and um, sit in there or <laughs> something, but he's outside at the moment playing around. So hopefully that won't be too much of a problem. Will it Peeps? Woo, okay, so I'm dripping with sweat because I got a bit carried away. <laughs> Remember this thing? Oh man. That looks so good. And that's before we've polished it or anything. That was just with a, a long time of vinegar and a good scrub. Um, Paulie's even impressed by it. Look, he can't take his eyes off it. How good is that? Um, but yeah, pretty straightforward process that I'm sure you can all understand. Danny's got us this cool wire brush. Here it is in the sink. Um, look, I'll give you a rough idea of how it looks to do this. Like that. And this comes off, which is awesome. So we're um, in the midst of restoring. Dee, what have you got for us over there? Well, I should have done it before, but this has come up pretty nice. It has come up pretty nice. It's not like it's just coated in the pretty mm. rose These gold color. Trusty so. dusty brasso over there. Just a little bit. And then the hinges. Look They're at that. Fine. They're great. So, you know, hinges ain't cheap nice. as we've found out. Um, and yeah, so that's the process that we're gonna do. Picture that times whatever we end up doing to restore as much hardware as we possibly can because man, it looks good. I mean, picture a white French door with that black and gold bopper sitting on it. That's pretty cool. Anyway, back to work before I um, crack into some poisoning. All right, so I'm wearing pants, trust me. <laughs> Danny's working on the hardware. She's polishing and whatnotting. Um, we might think it's time to at least put these in place. Um, Fingers crossed. Um, yeah, fingers crossed the glass stays in its place. Um, fingers crossed the glazing doesn't just fall straight off. Um, and fingers crossed they go back in and there's, this goes well, because it'd be so nice to have some doors there. All right, time to start moving them into the uh, guest room. All righty. Um, I might just go ahead then and drill pilots on all of the top ones. Yeah, good idea. Do you want some goggles? Um, thank you.
All right, so we've just drilled all the pilots in. Danny's going through and screwing in the um, hinge screws. Take a look at that for a second. How nice is that? We're hoping all that comes together easily once they're up. All right, so the big moment, um, we've got some surgery to do down the bottom, but all that really matters is door one closes, door two closes. <laughs> oh, that's so cool. Wow, it does look cool. It looks cool because of the blue tarp, I reckon. <laughs> oh. Wow. How's that process, D? This is pretty easy. I'll use the little Goldilocks for that. Mm. Okay, hello. Don't know if this is the start of the video or partway through one, but <laughs> um, time has come to complete the room with furnishings. Um, there'll be a few things that still aren't finished, but in due time, exhibit A. But regardless, it'll be sweet to have this room done. We just had the air condition serviced by Sam Cronin and his air conditioning company, which doesn't come to mind, not sponsored. Um, also, in cool news, the EVAPs were, were fixed. We've got the EVAPs chugging, and man, oh man, they are good. Good, huge fan of EVAPs. Anyway, let's jump into setting up this bed. Danny's gonna do a little touch up of paint in the wardrobe here, and possibly even up there, um, up there in the wardrobe. And um, this room will be pretty much finished. All right, so we've got these curtains. This is not really a dry fit per se, but it's a semi fit. We're gonna spray paint these eventually, but we just might as well install them first. Um, can I just have the stud finder again, please? Stud's quite large up here. That's good. Maybe it's just BJ behind it. We'll just go slightly off the um, thing here, but what height do you want, babe? Um, so we've just got them up there. I've laser leveled it and stuff, so it should be straight. The, the aircon's not straight, just for reference. Um, <laughs> so I don't know if that skews your vision at all. Okay, so time for a big moment. Time for the reveal of our guest bedroom. Now, as you can see, it still needs a top coat on the front. All the putty still needs to be painted. I also won't show you too close a look at the putty, but um, beautiful front door, still got some more hardware to put on. I don't want to make it sound like it's ready for reveal, but Ooh, look at that. Oh my goodness.